the dealer's face when you say 35k oh, is God, watching 35,000 people in the chat that oh my god i didn't people in the chat. oh this is when i said it's uh, is it a four door that drives like a two door and no one got it except for all of you guys in the chat got it but the 35,000 people in the chat that one's for you Got it, but the Comparing you being Donnie yesterday, Hasanabi or Donnie Pecorino? Old reliable beat up Camry that he loved, old reliable beat up taxi that he loved, buys a cool new car that has four seats but is basically a two seater, buys a cool new car that has four doors but drives like a two door, struggle to pay his car payments because of bad credit, struggle to pay his car payments because of loan sharks, stash glasses and ponytail. Yeah, dude, I, you know, people say, people fucking say, Oh, wow. Like, you know, Donnie's dead. No, dude. Donnie took flight, okay? Donnie is alive. Donnie is me. I have become Donnie. In the beginning of 2021, in the beginning of 2021, I was LARPing as, as Donnie on the internet, okay? And then when I fucking changed my direction, I basically became Donnie in real life. I became more man. I became more Donnie than man. What did Mandy was in the chat yesterday? What did he say? God damn it, Donnie. The finances on this thing are going to be too much. A four door that drives like a two door pog. We got the four door. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, that was wonderful. That was cool as fuck. Um, of course, Hasanabe Productions fan channel uh, came out of the gate swinging with this. Azan, it is Tommy Laren, and hey, listen, I have been told that you are a liberal, far-left, communist, but you don't live like it. You just got a new Porsche. Now, listen, that sounds kind of capitalist to me. Azan, it is Tommy Laren, and hey, listen. You just became a version of you from a better part of New Jersey? She do be looking good, though. You can fix her. I can't. Allah can only fix her. The timeline is merging. There's a longer version. He went and he bought, he fucking got more. Full video. Tommy Lauren is down bad for Hasanabi. I promise something special at 50k subscribers. Oh my God, Hasanabi Productions made it up to 50k subscribers. <laughs> Azan, it is Tommy Laren, and hey, listen, I have been told that you are a liberal, far left, communist, but you don't live like it. You just got a new Porsche. Now, listen, that sounds kind of capitalist to me. If you're a true <laughs> communist, if you're truly one of those people that believes in, you know, spreading the wealth and everybody getting poor nice together, thing. you probably shouldn't drive a Porsche, my friend. You should probably be donating that to, you know, whatever Marxist inspired group that fits your fancy. Dude, I love this because like the difference between her like meme, this meme that she is being forced to read for like, I don't know, $60 or however much she charges for a cameo is the exact same argument that like 90% of all the smart big brain thinkers are making on the internet. Like you're literally doing a meme as an argument. Dude, why don't you fucking invest in communism? Yeah, dude, that's the problem. It's just like, you know, the reason why, uh, the reason why uh, socialism or communism has never been achieved under a capitalist organization of the economy is because people simply did not invest enough into it. She's reading a meme. She's, this is not a real argument. This is not a real argument. Anyway, let's But keep... I know that you're also uh, 40 years old. Okay. You've got no girlfriend. Okay. And listen, okay. if you would come on over to the conservative time. side, okay. to the right side of history, I think a lot of your problems could be fixed. So here's to hoping. Let's go, Brandon. You enjoy that new Porsche. Take Let's it. go, Brandon! You should have returned to your New Jersey roots and bought a suburban like Tony Soprano. If you're not a part of the solution, you're part of the problem. If you're not a part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm a part of the problem. I, you're right. Like, just, yeah, I'm a capitalist, dude. I love capitalism. Okay, just, okay, just shut the fuck up. Who cares? I like your new car, man. You deserve to treat yourself.
Congrats and ignore the haters. He admitted, you got me, boys. You got it. Okay. All right. Can we move on? Can we can we have fun now? Shut the fuck up. Uh, we're going to talk about this as well. Uh, but hold on. Socialism is when no car. Linus got a new house, Come finally on, spending my YouTube money. You. Oh, for those of you who haven't been keeping up, this is my new house. Dude, that's so fucked up. I can't believe that LSF molding that they can't hold you accountable. Yeah, dude, that's the thing. It's like, what are you, what are you holding? Hold my dick, dude. What the fuck are you holding accountable? Like, what? Are, it's just so stupid. Like, it's so dumb. Linus isn't a socialist. I know, dumbass. I know. But there is no fucking rule in the rule book that you made up where, like, uh, a socialist person it cannot buy a house or have nice things, okay? That's not a thing. Like, not every fucking purchase that a leftist person is making has to be I advancing the communist agenda. Like, I'm a human being, dude. I want nice things. And not only that, but I've, I've also talked about hedonism regularly as a method of control, as a successful method of control. This is an intellectual disagreement that other leftists might have with me, but I've been talking about this for many, many years. Can I drive the car? Angles will be canceled by LSF. And also, those are like actual fucking thinkers, you know what I mean? Or they're actual people that like, they're, they're theorists, they're thinkers. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that, okay? And yes, even those people had fucking nice things as well. But I'm not one of those people. I'm not a thinker. I'm a dumbass, okay? I'm, I'm an entertainer, and I do agitated propaganda, and that's the point. What is this? This tweet finally came true. I saw him watching his computer being built while sitting in his Porsche in the garage of his $3 million home. <laughs> it's not true yet, but now, now it can be. LTT talked about leasing a take cam because of battery take advancing in his latest podcast. So I didn't hear that, but that's basically the reason why I leased it for the record uh, instead of buying it. Like if you buy Porsches are, and this is like rich guy shit for sure. It's like the fucking, it's like the fucking combo around like buying fucking fancy watches and shit like that. You know what I mean? But, uh, and it's a, a stupid one, but if you are to like purchase something as an investment vehicle or whatever, okay. Porsches are relatively decent at keeping their value in comparison to in comparison to other vehicles. Because the moment that you drive a vehicle off the lot, it just yes, halves yes. in value. You're, it's a depreciating asset, right? For the record, just because I know this shit doesn't mean, or uh, you know, like I don't do any of this shit, but that doesn't mean I don't know this shit. Okay. Anyway, so Porsches, on the other hand. It, with the with the combustion engine those porsches actually maintain their value they retain their value especially if it's like a sought after uh one a sought after version with sought after specs um and so owning one of those is fine because then you can always fucking sell it it's like a collector's item it's like other rich guys fucking love that shit okay whereas um whereas uh the the electric vehicle i do not think is going to hold its value in the long term because electric technology is still pretty new. The battery technology is still fairly new. So like the leaps and bounds that the uh, electric, uh, the battery technology is going to uh, engage in is going to literally fucking destroy the value of electric vehicles five years out the, uh, down the line, uh, you know, four years down the line, whenever the fuck they actually... Uh, whenever the fuck they actually come up with a new battery that's going to completely blow the previous previous batteries out of the uh, you know out of the water incorrect Tesla's retain their value better than most vehicles I think a 2018 Model X retains over 80% of its value I'm not talking about Tesla's Tesla's are an entirely Tesla's do not operate in the same fucking uh, you know market just like Tesla's stock does not operate under the capitalist principles it's like it's an entirely different uh, way of its own, okay? 
and even if the battery holds well over the course of uh many many years it's not even comparable to like a 9 one uh, 9 11. what did carter say carter said socialism is when you're dressed up like you think second cousins is far up enough apart to get in a relationship So, um, you know, the EV stuff is like people saying, stop justifying it. Not even listening. I'm not justifying shit. I, I don't have to justify it. And I don't think many people in here are saying, stop justifying it. You might've seen like, you might be getting one guide, um, in this situation. Many people don't give a shit. We've had this exact same conversation a million times over. And the people who legitimately find this to be like, is there's like boomer leftists and stuff out there who like actually feel like this is unacceptable. You know what I mean? There's like boomer leftists out there who don't like, um, you know, copious consumption. They don't like that sort of stuff. They're like, this is unacceptable. And there's like, you know, actual fucking people who like are, are understandably pissed off, but for every one person, there's like a hundred that are just either being whipped up into a frenzy by their favorite podcaster or favorite content creator who's doing this for content. People that disagree with Hasanabi are boomers? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. Dude, you are never going to find someone as, as uh, in agreement with my fucking, uh, with people that get angered by this as myself. Even when, even when Ethan and I were talking about this sort of stuff, when I first bought the house and like people were mad, remember, I literally said, I totally understand why people fucking get mad. Uh, I, I get it. Life sucks. It's fucking dog shit. It's awful. Uh, and, and you're angry all the time. The system is fucking broken. You feel like uh, it, there's a budget shortfall built into your existence and it's true. And then you see some fucking dude who's uh, supposedly has your best interest at heart making a fucking uh, Five making a purchase time. decision that you will never be able to make. And it frustrates you. You're like, oh, fuck this guy. You know, it's a it's a misdirection of of reasonable anger that you feel. But the anger itself is still reasonable. Directing it towards me is not, in my opinion, but fuck it. Who cares? They upset, they're they upset because they believe in meritocracy and they don't like that you're successful. Fucks with their worldview. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. The Twitter stands are making this place look like an insane cult and 100% driving away some edge case people from ever watching in the future. I mean, dude, if you're going to get mad at the fucking Twitter stands in, instead of like... Uh, if you're going to get mad at the Twitter stands, get way more mad at the fucking psychos who are like, dude, he parked in a disabled uh, parking spot. Like, that's crazy. He's like, he parked in a handicapped parking spot. Like, I didn't. It's literally the fucking dealership. You know what I mean? Hi, Hussein. Like, it's people like this. It's people like this. Look, if I was a hardcore capitalist, I'd be absolutely thrilled with Hassan's existence. A modern-day TV evangelist preaching his gospel about devout, edgy teens who defend his every move, making bank without achieving anything. He is the late-stage capitalism success story. It's always, it's always like fucking uh, tw uh, Twitter people like this. It's like, dude, you're, you're a poster. You're literally a poster. You're just, you want, you want to post. These are all posters. Okay. Anyway. But yeah, like I said, this was the funniest part about it is that like people were trying to get mad as mad as they possibly could so they could fucking they they were like literally looking for anything they could mad at, they, they could get mad at anyway <clears throat> you missed this myth and awesome moment Let, let's look at the fun memes i just love how you set up the bait with the most basic of efforts and so many bits spreading your face all over twitter today well played 
Yeah, but it still sucks because like I thought, you know, I thought it'd be fun and I and I always forget how fucking dumb people are, you know what I mean? I always forget how the how um I always I always forget how fucking stupid people are going to be especially when it comes to me. All right, let's watch. Uh, I'm okay, thank you. Hey, let's chat. I don't know how I'm going to mm. We're not supposed to eat it all in one bite. Mm. Oh, what's that? Let me sample it. Just let me get a bite. Oh. While you're getting a bite. Oh. The Santa bite do you think they know? Let's just don't. I don't think you got the balls. Instead of making money off the land of the last, or are they just stupid? <laughs> the hell is this stream? See, that's <laughs> that's like the ultimate dichotomy to like uh, for a straight guy. Has it? No, no, no. Austin has gotten more play. Austin has gotten more straight play than any any homosexual man in existence, okay? He's kissed all the boys. All of them. He's like, come on, get the rest of it. Come on. <laughs> That's the ultimate dichotomy for a straight man, you know that? <laughs> what? It's like, oh, um, you have Feeding the homies at the dealership. My cousin was making fun of us too. He was like, he was making fun of me and saying like, you guys are, you guys are such fucking, that's like the most Turkish thing you can do is go to a fucking dealership and then sit there, spread your fucking legs and eat food, like eat smelly food in the middle of a fucking Porsche dealership, which was pretty funny. He goes, oh, listen, we have... Here we have Austin show today on our show. And Austin is an activist of the LGBTQ community plus. Austin, thank you for coming to my show today. All right, now I start off with a simple question. Why are you gay? <laughs> I love that. Does someone have that as an alert or something? How do you I know that. I am gay? Why are you gay? Yeah, he goes, How much did you end up paying up front in order to drive it off the lot? I'm genuinely curious. A lot, dude. A lot. Like, originally, they were like, oh, just put fucking... You have to put 10K as a down payment. And then when my credit, when my credit report came back, <laughs> it was a lot, okay? Yeah, I, I totally got ripped off. My friends were texting me. My friends in finance were texting me like, dude, like, I know you... I fucking yell at you all the time to invest... I know I yell at you all the time to like fucking, you know, make your money work for you. You're a fucking idiot. You won't do any of that. But if you want to build credit, do it somewhere else. Congrats you don't need to build credit by, uh, you know, with the Porsche. It's so fucking stupid, yada, yada. And it's like, and I, uh, you know, they were just like, it's whatever. On the new pussy, Hussein Hussein. It makes perfect sense. You were eating there on the show floor, despite how bizarre it looked without context. Yeah, bro, we were there for eight hours. It's crazy. No, Marat didn't co-sign. I ended up getting it on my own. Jake trying not to look. Ooh. What is this? Yeah, we literally had a picnic at like a fucking at a Porsche dealership, dude. It was funny. Oh, this is why chat was an emo mo when I came back. Y'all are unbearable. Yeah, the stupidest part about this is like, you know, I I have a house. I'm making mortgage payments and shit, and I still don't have good credit. Like, how the fuck? What, when, when will you get good credit? Like, it's just never gonna happen, I guess. Um, the corn nut massacre. Oh, this was funny. I saw. Well, I didn't see, but. Austin, what are you doing? What the clean? No, it literally like I I, I'm so glad I'm so glad I brought Austin. To the fold because he made me feel like i'm a i'm a dad who brought his like you know son who's just a little slow like he's a 
he's he's like uh you know he <laughs> just to the dealership who was just doing everything that he's not supposed to be doing okay <laughs> like he was he, he, <laughs> he was just like he, he means well but you know it's not supposed to What? Hey, Hassan, it's interesting that you just bought your car right after first merch shop. Our t-shirts haven't come. It's been months past the date you said it would. The company said it will be there by March, even though they said January. What makes this funny is, for me, is that you bought an expensive car while your supplier took our money. Lol, you might even have to sell your car when the merch ends up never coming. Do you think people's merchandise didn't end up coming? Um, look, this is actually a, a, a very valid fucking thing to be angry at, and I'm unaware of, of uh, any sort of, like, supply issues. But most people got their shirts already, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, and I'm sorry, and there's, if there's a production delay or anything, I'm unaware of it, but you should get mad at the fucking company that said that they were going to do it, and I will consider, I will literally reconsider working with them. I might not work with them ever again, if that's the case. That was part of the reason why I was, uh, I mean, I was very careful about who I worked with on this. So I'm really sorry if there's a delay. Read their chat logs. Oh, they were baiting. But yeah, most I'm pretty sure most people got their merch. I'm un I'm unaware that there was like a massive, massive fucking delay in production. But now I know. Why are you taking great name seriously? What, what do you mean? I don't want anybody to fucking not get their shit that they paid for that they thought they were gonna get by fucking you know. Recent foggers. Uh, that that's awful. Anyway. Oh, no. God damn it. They got corn nuts at the snack bar? Yes, they're good. Did they say you could check? Oh. I thought you could buy a car. I guess. I want it. I'm trying to get it. Come on. Let me help you out. Great. Uh, fucking corn nuts in Porsche? Corn nuts everywhere. Just tell them what you did. Jesus Christ. Fuck this, man. I'm going to the cars. I do. <laughs> my friend said. <laughs> my friend said. Turn it into a bit where you just keep buying increasingly luxurious things, then argue you should be taxed more if they want you to stop. I feel like the best way to push for the best way to get the reactionaries to push for legislation is if I keep buying fucking if I keep engaging in like insane commodity consumption like this, despite the spite driven reactionaries will end up fucking advocating for socialism in no time, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, obviously, but. It is. It is funny to think. The funniest part about this is like everyone being like, I'm not owned. I'm not owned. Half the chat already thinks higher taxes is equals socialism. No, they're going to like literally build fucking worker coalitions. Okay. First step is labor unionizing. They're going to be like, I'm so mad. I unionized my fucking workplace, built worker coalitions and like actually fucking implemented, um, you know, I'm, I'm running for city council and, and, and like, you know, state legislator positions. And we now have like an actual fucking revolutionary vanguard that we're building together specifically because of my anger that, uh, this, this fucking leftist, uh, uh Twitch streamer, he, he bought expensive uh, things, and it pissed me off. Stop losers. Anyway, we have to stop. Yeah, you have to stop it. <sighs> I'm reporting you on Twitch for this. Cancelled. <laughs> Honestly, the outrage doesn't seem as bad this time as the house. Maybe just BC, there's no LSF. But more important than that, Know that what you are doing is working and growing the left. Keep up the great work. Hassle.
That's right, dude. San Abbey, did I miss the Joe Rogan and word what is this invoice? Just asking. Love the stream hassle. Invoice car for streamers, Los Angeles. Sunpiker West Hollywood Mansion. Invoice date. Extended test drive fee. Snacks, drinks, etc. Do you think the fucking two snacks would be thirty dollars, or the cleanup would be fifteen dollars? You crazy? That's a f that's cute, dude. At the Porsche dealership, first of all, the water, which the water bottle I stole. Well, not stole. They were giving it for free if you're there. But the water bottle was literally fucking... It, it, if they were selling that, that shit would be, like, way more expensive than no normal water bottle. Austin cleared the whole Starbucks station? Dude, Austin... My man ate a lot, dude, but good for him. He deserves it. He was great. And, you know, it's been, you know, just do a little acting and modeling. Oh, nice. How's that going? It's good. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's going well. Let's hope we can put some of those acting skills to the test today, guys. Yeah, well, oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, so are we doing... I've, I've never done this before. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's a little bit better. It's not really oh, it's my, my first time, too. It's not really my thing. Like, I don't know. But like, you know, I think... But you can just put up your arm around him real quick. Mine? Uh, either way. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Is that better? Is that okay? That's great. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Like, so what do, you, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, uh, you go ahead first. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, I... Yeah. I like to play a little soccer. You know, it's fun. Soccer player. You know. You like juggling balls? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you guys already made memes of this? Holy shit, dude. Austin manspreading like a motherfucker? Yes, dude, because he's a selfish top. There is no better example of Austin's selfish top behavior then the way he fucking man spreads, the way he consumed everything at the fucking dealership. Classic, dude. Classic selfish top behavior. I'm telling you. Anyway. So let's talk about, we're done with the car memes for now. We'll get back to it when we get to the OK Buddy stuff. One thing I want to talk about is this. Kanye West, why all my first eight comments come in this language on Instagram? So first and foremost... I was really excited that Kanye West came out as anti-NFT. He deleted this post already, but you'll be able to see it here. We preserved it. So I was really, really excited that Kanye West came out as anti-NFT, but then he had to do this. And fucking come out as anti-Turk. And it hurt my soul. Okay? I got my 